These are the believers. Hundreds of them crowded the stadium to show their faith. Make sure that they have the spirit ready to kick butt on the 49ers. And they are ready to work some miracles. You know, I think it's great that the fans come out here and support us. And, um, you know, it would be so fitting for us to bring it back home to these guys because they certainly deserve it. I see the ball. <laughs> There's good, too. It's the final send-off, the Chargers on the road to Super Bowl. You know, it makes you feel good. Uh, gives you that little bit of boost knowing that, uh, you know, we have people supporting you, backing you up, you know, no matter what. No matter what the odds are, someone may be watching from above. We'll be praying for you. It was a short ride to the airport, but plenty of fans to cheer them on. Along the way, it looked more like a presidential motorcade. I left work to come here to root on the Chargers to go on their way to the airport so we can have a great Super Bowl. A few dozen more were waiting to catch that final glimpse at the airport. They had been waiting all morning. Even airline crews were hit with Charger fever. As the team boarded the plane, they seemed relaxed and ready. Then a final wave from Coach Bobby Ross to the fans. The Chargers are going to beat the Niners, baby! Well, this is it. The Chargers now on their way to Miami. A six-hour flight. No doubt they have a lot on their minds. But back here, they're already planning a victory party. There are bolts and there are Super Bowls. Charger fever is now reaching an epidemic. These third graders in Ocean Beach even composed their own Charger song. We had special t-shirts designed that the kids are allowed to wear this week only instead of their uniform shirts. Whether it's on t-shirts, windows, or utility trucks, you can't miss the yellow and blue. Yeah, we had a few of them made up and everybody's uh, passing them around at work. From hats to earrings, from Encinitas to Mission Valley to La Mesa, the message is clear. Charge is ready to win. Now, some people are kind of confused about this, but at this gas station in Kearney Mesa, you don't just get your regular unleaded gasoline. When you want to fill her up, you ask for a tank full of Stan. You see the pumps are now named after the owner's favorite players. 82, that's great, wonderful, now I got it. <laughs> and if you still don't get what the bolt is all about, listen up. The sheriff made some pay, and Sam made the play, and Gibson saved the day, the Chargers family. They started arriving late last night. This morning, there were already tens of thousands of them, Charger fans. By sunrise, a giant lightning bolt like no other. It's history being made right now, right now. This is first time Charger history. And these Charger fans were determined to be a part of it. I've been here since 3.15 this morning. I thought I was early. Found out that they was here at 11 o'clock last night. Why? Because the Chargers are going to win the Super Bowl! The human bolt was sponsored by a local radio station. Turnout was phenomenal. Ran along the fence around the stadium, then it doubled back, then it turned, then it doubled back again. A lot of standing. Kind of felt like a cow. Go Chargers! <laughs> there were bolt dogs, bolt heads, and those who were simply bolted out. Some danced, others screamed. Well, he's wondering what's gotten into mom and dad. They were charged. One woman said the crowd was so excited, she was shoved to the ground. People are going a little bit too crazy, I think. It's not as safe. It was one wild party, but the message is clear. We're going all the way. We're bringing it home. We're bringing the ring home. Perhaps lightning will strike again. The party kicked off early in Pacific Beach. By game time, this local Charger Central Plum Crazy Saloon was already high on Charger fever. No bandwagon here, just true believers.
Oh, true Charger fan. I've lived here my entire life. Chargers all the way since 1980s. I love the Chargers. I don't care if they win or lose. Charger fan all the way. It's all here in the heart. It's in the heart. They're going to win. They're going to win. It's in the heart. What happens if they lose? I'll still love them because it's the Chargers. Plenty of Charger fever at this Super Bowl party in Kearney Mesa. To show his support, John Hoops transformed his living room into a mini stadium. You just get in there, especially with the Chargers in the Super Bowl. You know, it's like we are the game right here. Instead of going to Miami, we brought Miami to us. And he did. The room was complete with bleachers, yard lines painted on the carpet, and goal posts. At SeaWorld, more than a thousand Charger fans showed off their spirit by sprinting in a marathon, benefiting San Diego's health care agencies. No sprinting here, but lots of bolting. Some 40 residents at this senior citizen's home in Chula Vista were all decked out watching the big game on a big screen TV. At this East San Diego church, a few extra prayers were said for the team of destiny. Although no miracles today, the Chargers have already achieved what many have said was impossible. Judy Sue News 8.